Well, it is wedding season and we all love a good love story. Of course we do. A Des Moines couple is getting married this summer and their story is made for Hollywood or maybe the Hallmark Channel. That's because it's a match decades in the making. Love is in full bloom at the Botanical Gardens. It feels surreal. From the vibrant flowers to the relaxing waterfall. Every time we come, it just makes us a little more excited to uh, get closer to the big day. Not to mention some of the best views of the Des Moines skyline. I couldn't imagine a better venue to get married. You might say Jasmine Vong and Jeffrey Newland were destined to be together. When did you know he was the one? Oh, man. Still don't. <laughs> <laughs> Their love story dates back to their high school days at Roosevelt, but it didn't really blossom until their time at the University of Iowa. I think when he started coming around my family a little bit more and more. So Jasmine, you know, brought this handsome guy with uh, with her and we were kind of like peeking out the window. Who is this? Who is this? The answer came as a surprise and uncovered a shared past, an event decades ago forever linking their families. The story of the Titan people, at least in my generation, it won't be lost because we often tell our kids why they are in a place where they're at. In 1975, Jasmine's aunt, San Levon, was nine when her family fled Laos following the Vietnam War. With little more than the clothes on their backs, they had no place to go. They have a, a desire to leave communism, to get away, to escape, and to be free. Until former Governor Ray stepped in and welcomed the Thai Dom refugees to Iowa. We have had a great history and a heritage of uh, opening our arms and our hearts and our homes to other people who were in distress. And here we have a great opportunity to do something very very specific to help other people. Jasmine's family was among the first wave of 3,500 refugees from Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam to make Iowa their home. What my mom and dad taught me, don't ever forget where you came from because there's always a story behind it, you know, good or bad. And our kids have it so easy, but we also don't want them to forget. I took the story for granted. I know that um, it was big talk within my family and that's why I think so many um, families especially so many tight on families appreciate him so much and um, you know they they call him the grandfather of the tight on people and I think frankly we have a bright future he's much more than an honorary family member to Jeffrey he's his grandfather I never really thought of him as the politician you know I grew up he was just grandpa um, all he really ever wanted to do was spend time with his family, go get ice cream and shoot hoops in the backyard. It's pretty special. Um, the older I get, the more special it becomes. Um, and so it's just nice, I think, that with this wedding that's coming, that it kind of brings it full circle. And um, without my dad, we wouldn't have Jasmine and we wouldn't have her family here that have been come so close to us. Governor Ray passed away in 2018. Jasmine lost her mother a few years ago, and the couple is keeping their memory and the tie down culture alive at their wedding. That night I'll wear um, a traditional tie down outfit. From a traditional dress oh, 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 oh. to food and music. That way we can incorporate yeah. some of the culture yeah. on our special day. I have no doubt he's smiling down. I mean, this is something that he was the matchmaker 50 years ago, and now he's watching his grandson marry a refugee's daughter. A perfect match. His best trait, I would say his heart. He has a very big heart, very caring, loving to anyone he meets. Jasmine's best trait is her respect, and she puts everyone else before herself as they celebrate their new life together. I think it just would be so super excited for those two individuals. And all I can see is that he would have his camera out and he would be taking picture after picture after picture um, just to capture the, the happiness um, and love that the two share. You can't make it up. 
you can't. And it's just, I think we are just fortunate just to be that family who, um, you know, there, there's a reason for that, um, to, be, to, to be that family that will make that full circle. We're gonna get married at an awesome venue here on a street kind of named after him that also houses the Asian gardens. I mean, that's pretty special. A special tribute to their legacy of love. And Jasmine and Jeffrey are getting married this August. Her mother's story is actually documented in a book, Zachary's Bridge. It features stories from immigrant and refugee children who move from their home countries to the Midwest. And what a story it is. Oh my gosh, and beautifully told. Oh, like, I know, they're such a sweet couple, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, wonderful.